The Vatican will soon be getting its power from above. A group of German workers dressed in bright yellow t-shirts make their way across the roof of the Pope's audience hall, carrying a heavy solar panel. Carefully, they place it on metal racks with the dark photovoltaic cells facing upwards towards the bright September sun. They are putting a total of 2,700 solar panels on the roof of the Paul VI Auditorium. The panels will provide 300,000 kilowatt hours, which will be used to eliminate heat or cool the building. Andre Kokenhoff came down from northern Germany to manage the installation of the solar panels at the Vatican. With this plant, if it's working, in about two weeks we avoid 210 tons of carbon dioxide and this is the equivalent to 70 tons uh, of oil. The solar panels were donated by a German company called Solar World as a gift to the German Pope. You can put this religious aspect on nearly everything, um, but I think here it's, it's just the try to make the Vatican a bit greener and to, to give new technologies a chance, to show it's possible even in the Vatican. The solar panels are not the only environmentally friendly project that the Vatican is involved in. On November 1st, workers will begin planting more than 100,000 trees at a national park in Hungary that are meant to neutralize the annual emission of greenhouse gases by the Vatican. The idea is to make the Vatican the first zero-emission state in the world. The last pope opened up the Vatican to internet and television. Now it looks like Benedict XVI might become the first green pope, helping the Vatican do its part to stop global warming. Tricia Thomas, the Associated Press at the Vatican.